Okay, in case you want to talk to you, Nali DJ again, San Patuano, Niger FM. Like I don't tell you now before, we get Obonga guests for inside the building. Uh, we don't they enjoy her song uh, for quite some time now. The song make plenty, plenty brain. Is sweet like say tomorrow, no day. And the baby, if you see her, I man, she fine. She be like a cake. When they just bake, come off from open. They know when they come off from open, they never cut them. They never do anything. It's still the it's still the fresh. The smell still be still day. You know as it be now when you enter somewhere where they just bake things. You don't say the atmosphere. No be yeah. You know that's so she be. Ah now wow. Mm -hmm. Our person go just they find everybody fine. One person carry everybody fine for our own self. I don't they be fine. Anyway, Sha. Uh, who day for inside the building right now? Now, like Taby, and you know, we don't they enjoy her song where she titled, uh, what she called The One. One thing I like for that song, she said to say she know for she know be Christian, she for involve Baba for this one. So, that Baba, she gonna explain oh, who that Baba be, where she want to that that body. Anyway, Taby, welcome to Nigeria FM 102.7. Thank you. How you day? I'm doing good. I did well. May you talk and dance inside your mic now. May we make everybody hear your voice. Okay, is this better? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so how far, how far, how are you doing? I do well. I thank God. <laughs> you see, I hear her voice. <laughs> you see, I hear her voice. But make I just warn you, you know, she know the, she know fit, you know, speak pigeon like that, but she could try. Mm -hmm. So in case you hear for ne, no vex. <laughs> make I just inform you of, uh, ahead of time. So, Tabi, your name is Tabi. Have you now your stage name? Be that my stage name. What's in your real name? Taiwo. Ta Yoruba <laughs> Yes. Omo Yoruba. Omo Yoruba. You hear Yoruba? Yoruba. Of course. Yeah, speak Yoruba for you now. I want to Yoruba Dada. I want to Yoruba Dada. So, I'm not coming. You no big speak pigeon. A pigeon. Mm, I can try. You did try. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, nice one, Tabi. So, how long you don't they sing? Since. When I started taking it seriously, 11 years old. From the age of 11. Okay, from the age of 11. Yes. Now then you start to be sing. Yes, I took it seriously. I started writing songs at 11. And then um, professionally, I started recording in the studio at the age of 16. 16. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. You, you, you get album already. Mm -hmm. My EP is out. Now your first EP? Yes. The Yoruba Goddess. Now what? Yay! <laughs> Wait, we need to on when we review this this matter. <laughs> Your bag, Abby. Your bag. Full yes. blood Nigerian. Yes. You start to sing at eleven. Yes. You start professional. You will record at the age of sixteen. Yes. And your career support you. Yes. Where where? Okay, in the US. We are based in the eh. US. Ah! Hey. <laughs> 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 I forgot <laughs> since now. Nah. Hey. Well, no, beside the talk, say we know the support for you. Oh, Joe. <laughs> okay. So, okay, so, una de, una de. Yes. Uh -huh. Wow. So, wait, wait. So, how. What did just inspire you to just um, start to this thing? I be, just feel say, just wake up one day, just feel say, I get boys to so make I just start to this thing. Okay, well, I've always been in the choir, the church choir. Okay. Since I was a little girl, because my mom, she's like. Make you talk and tell your mind. She's this um, church lady, evangelist. She's so into the church thing. So we two were in the choir. So um, when I was 11, I remember my uh, my lecturer. Okay. He was telling me, because you know when you're growing up, you deal with pre um, peer pressure. Mm -hmm. You deal with um, some other kids trying to bully other kids mm -hmm. and stuff. So my uh, teacher, he was like, you know what if you're feeling sad about something just start writing it down on paper okay. start expressing your feelings mm -hmm. start um letting it out so that was how i became a songwriter okay because i started to express myself uh, so what will <laughs> be the first song you write you remember <laughs> actually the um i remember one of the early ones it's called um everything happens for a reason okay is it reason for a season? I don't even remember. Um, then there's one called Because of You. Um, it's a gospel song. And then the other ones were just about boys. Who <laughs> 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 you want to sing about my girls? <laughs> I mean, um, <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> oh wow so, wow so you don't you don't start really really early yes. not everybody get that privilege to start that early mm -hmm. so how your parents take and say now music now you get passion for um my mom i would say both of my parents were always very supportive my mom she's a business woman so i remember when i was going to my um uh, my first recording session she gave me three hundred dollars to go record wow yes that's not heavy money <laughs> i was 16 i was 16 she gave me three hundred dollars to go and record in the studio and um she was just i think because that time i was doing gospel so my mom was also very supportive so like two weeks after then my mom was like and eh, i gave you three hundred dollars to go record in the studio where's the money are you making the money back now <laughs> <laughs> like this business woman so um you know from there i just continued to you know develop myself and but she's always been supportive same thing with my dad he's more of the quiet one my mom is more of the we will push you don't worry <laughs> but they're both very supportive okay wow nice <laughs> one all right so this is your song the one uh -huh. now you come up from your ep yes so what did inspire this song um you don't find the one, I mean, the one don't find you. <laughs> the song is just um, about, it's pretty much about a personal experience okay. that I went through. Um, a guy that, you know, I really liked. Really, 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 really liked. And <laughs> he liked you too. It, I don't, I don't think, not the way that I. Okay, no, but you know, you know, like the way you like her. I don't think so. Okay. I'm waiting the reason. Do not like this fine game. <laughs> well, I ended up finding out later. Well, when he decided to be honest, um, I, I ended up finding out that he actually had someone. Oh, he did. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Yeah, mm. he had someone. So that was what the song was about. You know, um, I hope she makes you happy. Okay. You know, all those things I was mm -hmm. talking about. Mm -hmm. um, but the song was actually from a very um, painful experience. I can imagine. Yes. You know how yeah. to like person and then find that say person no like you the way you, you like her. Yes, now. They pay. They pay. And then it's like they were not even honest. Like uh, they don't the... tell you from the beginning. Uh -huh. They just they see you just a you know waste emotion. <laughs> so I, if they look you look before I know I know how that's in there. Uh, yes, now. I understand. Anyway, I know what you're going to do right now before we take a break and enjoy your song. How hmm. when you say the song now from very personal experience, something we just happened never to TRB. Uh, you mean recently? Yeah, recently. Recently. And that's why I had to write a song about it, um, to inspire the other girls going through stuff like this. Because the trust me, so many women have been through, you know, things like that. Whatever you experience in life, you're not going to be the first person, you won't be the last, you know. So I wrote that song to inspire the other women who are experiencing that right now. Okay, so uh, what I won't ask you, don't say the question, don't fly, come off of my head. Don't you go to go take a break. <laughs> when we come back from the break, I believe I will remember the question. So enjoy this song from Tay B. She called not Tay Bay. Tay B. Tay B. Okay, Tay B. She called yes. this one the one. Enjoy the song. We will come back. Nanaja FM 102.7. Walk chop with Lady J. <laughs>
It's past one o'clock. Yes, at the heart of the smoke the baddest radio show of Chop with the DJ. Yes, I'm at one of Niger Air for 102.7 and of course Nat AB for inside the building. The Bionas about her brand new song with show flow. So now they ask you this question off air. I see the guy no say you write this song because of her. Oh he know. He know. <laughs> you tell him. I told him. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, uh, he had this well. I think um he he probably had a feeling it was for him because the story it was too too similar. Mm. You send him the song. Yes, he's actually a musical person also. Okay. So he was helping me <laughs> with the song. He was helping me review some things. Okay. So that was how the um conversation came up. Okay, so now you make it come say it don't be saying be Christian. You for go back from this matter. So now native doctor go for go. You go native say we then give you it. You know um, you know how they always say mm -hmm. in life, you yes. know, just always be careful. The matters of the heart, the love of whatever, just be careful because you know what goes around comes back around. Oh, yeah. So that's what that line is is pretty much saying that don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> this you're not worried. Don't worry. Hey. You, you know, you might experience the same thing. You know, maybe at some point. You know, but you know, people go through things, and mm -hmm. you know, just trying to inspire people, and so that someone can, someone out there who is going through the same thing, can say, "Hey, you know what? I can, I connect with that." I feel you. Me, I don't. I don't get that kind of experience before. I am so lucky. Oh, you say you haven't, or you? Haven't? I don't get. Um, oh my god. And I know how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> so trust me, I understand you well. Well, <laughs> eh? The guy, actually, the guy, the guy, and my very, very good friend. We, we attend the same uh, secondary school. So mm. over over fifteen, almost twenty years, we no see. Oh. So eventually, when we can't see now, and um, you know, I see being now when you never see somebody for a long time. Mm -hmm. You know that um, that feeling, but we can only see no much more than the regular, mm -hmm. and as close as we did now, feelings there, but nothing happened. Okay. And eventually, now after two years, now the guy can tell me, say, you know, like me the way me yeah, I like him. You see. You know, after three years, so sometimes when this day happens, I feel you. You go, you will just be say. Make I just find who go help me cause this as I be beat this, you know that carry my you like he carry my heart. Play play game, but at the end of the day, life they go on. You go just uh, move on. on. Mm -hmm. But then so this one make plenty of So one thing I want to ask now, say okay, now everything where happened to you this year, you always turn into song. They always sing about her. Uh, mm -hmm. Everything happens. So if I vex you, I go sing. <laughs> 
well it may not be about you specifically but maybe similar to that experience okay. i write about 95 percent of the things i go through okay wow mm -hmm. nice one some make plenty of brain so what can be the how people don't collect this song how they don't receive this song honestly a lot of people actually like this song wow or they'll say oh you know what it's um my favorite from your ep and i have nine songs on it so people actually really like this song that's mm -hmm. one thing i can say for sure maybe because of the message or maybe because of um the realness in the song mm -hmm. i don't know maybe it's the vibe i don't know but i'll say that it's been received well um, wow okay so if people won't find this song now maybe they won't go um they won't I won't find this song. I like this song. Where then go fit go to get this song? Oh, you know the music video is out. You don't read. You don't shoot the video. Oh, yeah. Where you shoot the video? Yeah, uh, Lagos. Yeah, before the lockdown. Before the lockdown, <laughs> <laughs> you get locked. Yeah. If not, if you don't, okay, wait. <laughs> <laughs> to, yes. to feed, do the video. So tell me, what can be the reception of people? So you don't collect the song, the song people like her. What about the video? Oh, the video is even. I feel that the video actually made um, people like the song more. Okay. It's, it was shot and directed by Stan's Visual, the incredible Stan's Visual. He really tried his best um, for this video. Um, we were out there for. Was it 12 hours over 12 hours? 12 hours? Yes. Okay. <laughs> anyway, they say nothing good, they come easy. Yes. You yeah. know, that kind of matter. Uh -huh. Wow, nice one. So now, before we, because we get like a, just like five minutes now, uh -huh. and uh, we go see players on that, they come up on Inside Studio, but one of the things where I won't find and I say, okay, you don't upload song, people don't, they know you, and you say, you know, they stay for you now for Yankee. Uh -huh. day. So how... Um, how do you see the music industry down here compared to what you they used to over there? It's quite different. There's always going to be some similarities okay. in terms of the, you know, it's the same music, you know, but it's kind of different. Um, it's just, I, I feel like it's bigger than the music industry. I, I think it's just the environment, you know, Lagos, uh, the US. You can expect everything to be completely the same, you know, yeah. things are different. The way people hustle you know the hustle life you know lagos is different you know what i'm saying mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. that's what makes life so great because you get um different experiences you know so I, i'll say it's bigger than the music it's just just the the countries you know it comes with different you know different experiences and different challenges, challenges and stuff. Different mm -hmm. side. okay so if you get the opportunity now to do a collab collaborate with any uh, artist yeah uh, down here and uh, internationally who you go be oh you know that they dance so <laughs> if you call her she be happy girl she's happy create her own phone as they see i'm so <laughs> should i start with nigeria oh yeah nah, start with nigeria okay if i really want to when it comes to collaboration yeah i really want to collaborate with my uncle Meoku, hey, oh yeah, the mayor of Lele. Le, Le. Yes, I love him. I would love to collaborate with um Davido. Yeah, Obio. As a matter of fact, the whole DMW, I just love them. Then Peruzzi, yes, them. yes. I actually met Peruzzi. I met uh Drama Drizzy also. Okay. Very nice, very humble, very humble guys. Um, I just love, I love that team. Um, I really want to collaborate with um. Maya Kung. I actually wrote a song for it already. Oh, wow. <laughs> you don't follow and talk. We are working on this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so these are some of the things where they where in, they cook. In line. Where mm -hmm. they in line. Okay. Yeah. So internationally, who would like work with? Oh. I have a lot. Oh, uh, like I just mentioned if you know be everybody go fit corner. <laughs> um I love, 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 love. Mary J. Blanche. Oh wow, Mary J. Blanche. Yes, Grammy mm -hmm. Award winning. She is such a big motivation and such a big inspiration. She has been through so much in her life. All her songs are about her personal experiences. She's a legend. She's just everything. And um, Beyonce. <laughs> I love Beyonce. Um, who else? The guys, let me think of the guys. 
Singer or rapper? Oh, anyone. Drake. Drake. Yes, 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 yes. I want to work with Drake so bad. I would love to work with Drake. That would be such a phenomenal opportunity for me. So, but you know, we just have to keep working. You know. And God will do it. God will see us through. I'm you. I'm you. So, which yeah. advice you get now to uh, other artists? Where don't hear your song, won't be like you. You know that kind of matter. What thing we tell them? You have to be very strong, very be very strong mentally. It's not um, for the weak, you know. Mm -hmm. That's what I'll tell anybody that wants to do music. Doing music is not for the weak, for the weak minded. You have to be strong. You have to know what you are doing. You need to be serious. Make sure that it's something that you want to do. Don't just do it because you see other people doing it. Do it because you are willing to. That's your passion. You know what I'm saying? That you are unstoppable. Mm -hmm. You know, no matter what you are, <laughs> you keep on firing. <laughs> I do, I keep you on fire firing. on. <laughs> I okay, so what in the uh, people won't find you for social media? How they go see you? Oh, I am Tayby. So my name is T A Y Y B E E okay. Tayby. So it's I am Tayby. I am Tayby. That's yeah. not for all your social media handles. All social media. Well, Facebook is just Tayby, but. Twitter, Instagram, everywhere else, TikTok, I am Tayby. Okay, nice one. All right, one more thing. You have where people go find to find your EP. The one download them. Oh, it's out on all um digital platforms. Okay. It's out everywhere. Apple Music, um, Spotify, Boomplay. I know Nigeria um Boomplay yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Audio Mac. Um Everywhere, 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 mm -hmm. they go find them. Okay, like Godin always says, when song sweet, we go play them again. Sebi, thank you for coming. <laughs> thank you so much. I hope much say for we, go, we go see you again. Yes, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> one more time, we'll enjoy the song, The One by Sebi. Now, she goes, Scott of Enter Insider, the Tinky Newsroom. Don't go anywhere, and I still like the FM 102.7 Lady J on Top Workshop. And this is another one by Sebi. No change the dial. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh.